Standing out in the crowd in a red blazer, black skirt and heels, attorney Elizabeth Ritter received some media coverage three years ago at a free trade protest when she was shot with rubber bullets in the back and a leg. Her beef wasn't with the trade summit, but with a strong police presence. Minutes later, she took another rubber bullet on her forehead as she crouched behind her homemade sign that read, Fear Totalitarianism. You okay? Don't get around me. Let them, let them see it. Hit her in the face! Now her case is back in the news because of this. The good news about being, uh, being able to watch you guys live on TV is that lady with the red dress. <laughs> A police video shot after the shooting incident, just released following a review of excessive force complaints at the protest. I don't know who got her, but when it, it, was, yeah. when it went through the sun, it hit her smack dab in the middle of the head. Attorney Ritter says she was too scared to file a complaint before, but now she intends to sue for excessive force. I was cowering with a poster behind me, but my fingers were in front of the poster. I believe they thought that my face would have reasonably concluded that my face was behind that poster, and that's why they fired that shot. The Broward Sheriff's Office says Ritter's possible civil rights lawsuit prevents them from talking specifics. Officers at the scene tell CNN they warned the crowd to move back. Ritter disputes that. Can you say whether you stand by uh, the events of that day? Yes, the shooting we of, do. The shooting that day. Yes, we do. Picked up from the street of Miami from one of the scurrying cockroaches. Oh, cool. <laughs> wow. Police are red-faced about their video. Do you think that that tape paints a pretty picture? No, I don't. Those comments shouldn't have been made. I should have stopped them, and I recognize that. No officer has been charged or disciplined in Ritter's rubber bullet incident nor is it under investigation. Susan Candiotti, CNN, Miami.